G'day and welcome back to the channel. I've been grinding away at Kudra the last couple of weeks and I've learned something new that I think is worth sharing. I'm planning to make a comprehensive Kudra guide soon, but in the meantime, I need to stay relevant on YouTube, so here's a stun specific mini guide. Kudra has five tiers. For the first two, there is no stun phase, but for Burning, Fiery, and Infernal, a bad stunner means a thrown run, which means unnecessary downtime, which is unacceptable. Your party should have three DPS players and one stun. It's probably helpful if at least one other player in the party knows how to stun, in case the stunner dies at an inconvenient moment and can't revive quick enough. If you're not sure whether to go DPS or stun, the general advice is that DPS requires more coins, but it's super easy, whereas stun is a bit more complicated but doesn't require any setup. It's basically free. I play Iron Man, so stun is even easier for me because I don't have to bother grinding for tap. And if you don't know what that is, don't worry, it isn't relevant to stunning. If you have a good party, everyone should go specialist class and max the ballista building perk. If your party is mid or worse, the stunner should go crowd control so they can purchase the blight slayer perk. If you have a crowd control, this means slower building and slower runs, so try go four specialists if at all possible. The stunner's role begins as soon as the ballista is built. You purchase the human cannonball and left click either of the cannons before pointing at Kudra. Kudra will always surface as soon as the ballista is built, so you just need to wake up and focus once the ballista has been built. Be aware of your health, you can take damage on the cannon, so don't die. Also, Kudra knockers can knock you off the cannon, so clear the nearby ones or TP to the other cannon if they're too close. The only reason you should wait is if the dropship is going to nuke everyone while Kudra is stunned. This occasionally happens if your party is slow at gathering the supplies, or they just get rolled with the tentacle spawns and supply placements. In this event, just chill out for a second, wait for the dropship, and then go straight in afterwards. You shouldn't need any additional time before Kudra submerges. If you do, then you shouldn't have waited for the dropship. Once you're inside, immediately TP to this spot on the left orb and start spam clicking the nether brick block in front of you. After two or three seconds, Kudra should be stunned. Alternatively, if you're slow or you failed the insta stun, you can sit on the back of this block to the right of spawn and mine the glass on the pod. This is slower, but once the bacteria mobs have spawned, it becomes very difficult to retry the insta-stun method. You might get knocked into the lava, and this just means that you stood too close, so step back a fraction, just close enough to be able to mine the glass. At the end of the day, you might need to either restart the run, or wait for the next time Kudra resurfaces. Maybe your stun sucked, maybe your party doesn't have enough DPS to one cycle because someone isn't using tap. Just keep in mind the timing of the dropships, and you should be fine. The very last thing to consider is animation skipping, and this is only for Infernal, so tier 5 Kudra. Once you have insta-stunned, TP down to the safe spot and wait for Kudra's health to hit 50%. At this point, you want to throw a pearl straight up into the air, and if you time it right, it will TP you back into Kudra after you get puked out. This skips about 10 seconds of flailing, so it's not the end of the run if you mess it up, but any downtime reduction is a good thing, so give it a go if you're going to be doing lots of Infernal. With that out of the way, I dropped this on stream today. Enjoy. Let's go! Yes! Thank you! Let's go, man! Yes! That's pretty much it for the stun roll. If there's any additional advice from the community, check the comments below, and I'm sure someone will have found something helpful that I missed. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Oh, my God.